Hello everyone! Hello Kingdom Kids! So good to be with you again. I have been sorting out my books. Look at all these great stories I've got. I love stories, do you? I really love made-up stories and true stories. This one looks really good, look. I hope we can read that one together soon. Oh, but this weekend, um, at Christ the Rock, we are all starting to think about the story of the very first friends of Jesus. The very first Christians. And their story is in the Bible in a book called Acts. Right at the very beginning of Acts, this is what happens. When Jesus came back from the dead, he appeared to his friends many times in many places. One time, his friends were all hiding in a room with the door locked. They were very scared, scared about what might happen to them. And suddenly, Jesus was with them. He was there in the room and they didn't believe it was him. And then he showed them that he had the marks in his hands from the nails. But they thought that maybe he was a bit like a dream and they were imagining it. So he asked them for some food and he ate some food. And then they believed it was really him and he was alive again. And then a bit later on, they were out fishing and they hadn't caught anything. Um, and somebody called to them from the shore and said, throw your nets on the other side of the boat. And so they did and they caught so many fish. They couldn't haul them all aboard. And then Peter remembered that that was just exactly what had happened to them all those years ago when they had first met Jesus. And he realised it was Jesus. And so he swam to the shore and all the others hurried in with all the fish they caught. And Jesus cooked them fish over a barbecue on the beach for their breakfast. And then a few more weeks passed and at last it was time for Jesus to leave. It was time for him to go to heaven to be with God his Father. And so he took one last walk with his friends up a hill near the Sea of Galilee. I've got to go now, Jesus said, and there is something I want you to do. Tell my story to the world. Start in Jerusalem and don't stop until everybody has the chance to follow me. And if you ever feel scared or alone, don't worry. Just talk to me and I'll be with you, I promise. Then all of a sudden, a cloud wrapped itself around Jesus and carried him up into the sky. His friends stood and stared with their mouths open. And then two angels appeared and spoke to them and said, don't be sad. One day Jesus will come back in the clouds just as you've seen him go. So off the friends went, down the hill and into the whole world to tell the story of Jesus. But what is the story of Jesus? Do you remember our six colours. This was a long time ago, so some of you may remember. Do you remember that we use these colours to tell the whole story? The story of the whole world. All of God's story. The story of everything. <laughs> Do you remember it goes like this? God made the world. People messed up. So Jesus came and died for us and came back to life so that we could be friends with God forever. And we have the Holy Spirit to help us. And one day there will be a new heaven and a new earth and we will live with God forever. I wonder if you can tell that story with those symbols there's this one, and then this one, and then this one, then this one, and then this one, and then this one. 
I wonder if you remember the colours. I wonder if you all wonder what, know what order they go in. Okay, let's pray together before I go. Thank you, Jesus, that we are all part of your story. Thank you that we are never alone and we can always talk to you about everything. Amen. I will see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.